You don't say, Peanut. She does say. Hey guys, so today is May 3rd and I have not filmed in so long. Um, so I'm sure you saw a big hiatus. I know I talked about it in my last couple videos that I had broken my camera so sadly and my amazing boyfriend Liam was letting me borrow his camera, which was great, but his camera is just so fancy and I literally like have a hard time working it and it's not really for vlogging, it's for like real photography. So. Um, it doesn't have like a flip screen for me to be able to see myself and it's just really hard to vlog with But my birthday was on the first and my amazing boyfriend Liam of course swooped in and saved the day and he got me my camera back so he uh, He bought me a new camera, but it's the same camera that I had before which I love and so yeah, I'm so excited to start vlogging again and now it's just gonna be easier for me so I'm gonna be able to do it more often and yeah it's kind of nighttime right now, but I am working on scrapbooking. So I'm currently going through some photos, picking out what I need to use, and then I'm gonna go scrapbook them. I have a bunch of old pictures that my parents had just like in boxes, but aren't really being used. So I figured why not go through them and see what I can put in a scrapbook so we can actually look at them and enjoy them. So let's get to it. So I'm about to leave work. I got some things done. I looked up a horchata recipe. I did the things and now I have a little shopping list of some things I need to go get. So I'm gonna go, there's a stop and shop like right down the street from my salon. So I'm gonna run there and pick up, I need like evaporated milk, regular milk, and I think I need um, vanilla extract. So I'm gonna go run to stop and shop real quick before I head home so that I can get the ingredients so that I can make this horchata for tomorrow. It never ends, the list goes on. So I just got out of Stop and Shop and I totally forgot that 
I, I live here in New Jersey and I think it was yesterday they just stopped all bags so you can't get plastic bags or paper bags anywhere. Um, and I forgot, I have reusable kit bags in my cart but I forget to take them out so thankfully I only bought a few items. I bought two of these evaporated milks and this um, vanilla extract because I had to just walk out with it in my hands because I didn't have a bag. So note to self, gotta bring the bags next time. And now we're headed home to go see Liam. We're home now, and uh, me and Liam are taking the doggos for a walk. Peanut's being crazy like always. Ashley's having a dandy day. And then we're gonna go back inside, I'm gonna cook us some dinner, and have a nice little quiet night. This is the pasta that I made. It's spaghetti with this like cream, like cream cheese and lemon sauce and garlic. It's so delicious. So now me and Liam are gonna watch Good Girls on Netflix and eat dinner. Good morning, you guys. It is the 6th of May. It is a Friday. Today is the event at the salon. So I just got here. Actually, I went to um, like a rummage sale this morning that uh, they do in my area twice a year. The VNA runs it, so the visiting nurses. And um, I would have taken you guys with me, but it's raining. It's raining so much, so I didn't want to get my camera wet. I didn't want to get you guys wet. So um, I will show you guys what I got from that later on tonight when I get home. But I'm at the salon, I have a few appointments today, and I have a lot of getting ready to do. Gotta prep everything. I made my horchata last night, and so yeah, I gotta get everything inside and start getting ready. I have a client in about 30 minutes, so I've got some time to settle in and bring all my stuff in, and then busy day. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, you guys. It is, what day is it? It's Tuesday, the 10th. Um, I am in the salon and I'm about to do something that maybe I shouldn't do, but I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I'm gonna color my hair and I'm gonna do something that I've never done to myself. Um, I'm not, I don't usually color my own hair. I colored my own hair once the last time my hair was done which was a long time ago i colored it myself and it actually turned out pretty good and usually i just have somebody else do it because i can like i know lots of other hairdressers and, and i just would rather somebody else do it they can see the back of my head whatever but i'm feeling maybe a little too confident because last time it came out good so i'm gonna do it again and this time i'm doing something a little crazy so Anyway, this might turn out terrible and then I might do something else to cover it up, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. I really don't have anybody today. It's quiet in the salon, so I might as well do my color. So I'm gonna do something fun. I'm doing Pulp Riot, like fashion colors. So I think I'm gonna do like purple into pink, but this is why I don't know if it's gonna work out. Is I'm not gonna bleach my hair. My hair is like this like orange color and the purple is going to be dark, so I feel like it should be fine. And pink and orange, it could come out like a corally color. I don't know. I hope it just doesn't come out muddy, but if it does, I'll just go like a dark red or something and, and put it all over everything. But yeah, so this is what I have picked out, and we're just going to give it a go. So for the ends, I'm going to use Cupid, which is like a crazy bright pink and then for the roots I'm gonna mix velvet deviant and maybe a pop of elixir just to keep it on a cooler side because um, deviant is like a maroon it's like a red 
it says plum, but it's really like a ready purple. And then um, velvet's kind of like just like a regular, really, really deep purple. It's called an eggplant. And then elixir's a bright purple, but to me it's the coolest. Actually, here are the tops. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the color. But this one is deviant. Uh, I mean, no, this one is velvet, which is like the straight purple. This is deviant, which I don't know if you can tell. It's like, I don't think you can. It's not light enough in here. But this is like a red base purple. This is Cupid the pink. And then this is elixir, which is definitely much cooler. So let's mix it up and see what happens. Oh my god, I love it. So this is the finished product. I've got my hair in some cute little pigtails, but it is like this beautiful, like pinky magenta color. I'm absolutely obsessed. So as you saw in the video, I started it myself and then um, a girl popped in to finish it. So basically that is like one of my really good friends, Nicole. She actually owns a salon here in Sola around the corner from me, Bella Bellina Studios. Hey, how you doing? Um, she is super awesome and when she walked around the corner and saw me coloring my own hair She was like girl. What are you doing? And she gave me a hand which is super sweet. So Yeah, I literally love it. The purple definitely didn't come out like purple purple Which my hair was pretty dark on top. So I didn't really expect it to do a lot But it definitely did deepen it up and give it more of like a maroony kind of a vibe which I love and then the pink is like so pretty on the parts that were lighter it definitely came out like hot pink and the parts that were a little like orangey of my own hair came out like a little like corally and then with the root melt of the purple it kind of just became like a magenta it's so beautiful i love it i'm super excited ah now to head home that was a while ago i just never i forgot to film showing my hair but it is now the end of my day here at work and I'm ready to go home. Okay, so I totally forgot to give you guys the little haul of what I got the rummage sale the other day. So here it is. I got pretty much all scrapbooking supplies. It's like a huge bag of all of this goodies. So I'm just gonna run through it real quick because a lot of it's kind of the same stuff. I got a set of giant alphabet stamps, which is so fun. I love that. I have alphabet stamps, but they're all small. And I love the idea of the big letters for like scrapbooking and putting maybe like initials on things. Love that. I got a roll of like tickets. Um, I thought that this might also become like handy for my business if I want to do like a raffle or something fun. It was cheap, so I was like, why not? I got a paper punch that makes a snowflake. Love. I got a lot of pads of paper so i got this pad of paper right here this is um a six by six pad of paper and it's got like different holidays super cute i got 
this pad of paper. These are like, I don't know, I want to say like four and a half by six and a half. This is baby girl themed, so it's like super cute, like pink baby patterns, adorable. Same size, I got one that's high school, but it's, um, you know, like Argyle and just like cute high school patterns. I got some more six by sixes. This one is I don't even know. It's just like really fun colors. Love that one. I got this one, which is more like pastels and a little bit of floral. I got this, which is um, six and a half by four and a half again, but it's like all like pastel shades and like little like polka dots, things like that. I got this one. Can you tell I got a lot of paper? And I did not buy all of the paper. They had a lot of paper. I got these, these are a little bit bigger. Um, these are eight by eights and this is like all bright colors. I got this eight by eight in more like the muted colors. I got this guy, which is so fun. I think this one might be one of my favorites. It's Safari Kids. So it's like, I don't know if you can see, like different animal prints and just like fun stuff like that. Love that one. And then I got lots of big paper pads. This one's like nautical, so like blue and red. This one's like all the bright colors, all the primary colors. I love this, this also might be one of my favorites. It's got like gemstones and like, very like gemstone and mermaid feel if like gemstones and mermaids had a baby. That's the vibe of that one. I really like this one. This is more of like a birthday, balloons, confetti, kind of a celebration one. And then I got this one. And then I got a couple of packs of stickers. I got two of this set, set of stickers. It's like tropical paradise, good for vacations. I got one with these waves and these are like the 3D stickers. And then I had to get this because duh. Um, this is a barber chair, a blow dryer, a barber pole, and my first haircut. Obviously I'm a hairdresser, so I was like, oh, I need to get that. And actually, there's two more items, but I left them over there. Let me grab them. I got two more paper punches. I got this one, which is a circle, but it's like a scalloped circle. And I got this one that is a scalloped square. It's um one and three quarter inches. So I feel like I really made out. I really love everything that I got. And yeah, so that will conclude this vlog. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.